Hi, I'm also known as Bog, and today I'm really excited because we've got a pretty cool comic collector opportunity uh, that's tied into Fortnite, and as we know, Fortnite people are pretty crazy when it comes to collecting. Um, so we'll jump right into it. Um, earlier today, uh, DC Comics announced Batman Fortnite Zero Point Crossover comic includes playable DC costumes. Now this is really big. Uh, of course, we've talked previously um, on my channel a little bit about the Marvel Fortnite comic books that were printed and barely anybody picked up. They're still out there and they're still wildly cheap. Uh, and we'll take a look at why uh, you guys should pick some of those ones up here. But what's really cool here is it says uh, Batman is returning to the world of Fortnite and he's bringing Catwoman and Harley Quinn along for the ride. The latest collaboration between DC and Epic Games is dubbed Batman Fortnite Zero Point. But while this isn't the Dark Knight's first dalliance with Fortnite, right? Uh, this crossover is unique in that it's primarily driven by co uh, comic book tie-in. And this is really, really cool because whereas the Marvel comic book tie-in that we had just a little while ago, uh, there's some cool variants and even a printed Fortnite comic, the first appearance of some of our favorite characters from Fortnite. Um, this one it's uh it's going to actually drive people that would never buy a comic book to buy comics and we'll see why here um zero point is a six issue limited series scripted by christus gage based on a concept and story consultation from epic's chief creative officer donald mustard the series features art from riley brown uh christian deuce Nielsen DeCastro and John Calis. Sorry for butchering those names. Zero Point brings the Dark Knight and other DC icons like Catwoman and Harley Quinn crashing into the Fortnite universe with Batman struggling to remember who he is and where he came from and uh, solve the mystery of the Zero Point. The series will be in canon with Fortnite and the universe and add new layers to the game's mythology. DC's press release teases as Batman fights to recall his past and escape an endless loop of chaos and struggle, he'll come face to face with the likes of Renegade Raider, Fishstick, Bandolier, and more. While the world's greatest detective strives to make sense of this strange new world, he'll uncover the shocking truth about the island, what lies beyond the loop, and how everything is connected to the mysterious Zero Point. Each issue of Batman Fortnite Zero Point will be released day and date in print and digital formats, but Fortnite fans will have a special incentive to buy the print versions. There's literally no reason to go buy the digital versions, guys. Each print issue will include a DLC code for a Batman-themed item or costume to use in-game, with the first being DC Rebirth Harley Quinn. That's right, so if you have the Harley Quinn skin, you're going to get a brand new variant. But if you don't have the Harley Quinn skin like me, I don't have Harley yet, you're going to get this variant, which is awesome. It's based on the comic book DC Rebirth from a few years ago. And I'm telling you, right now, Harley Quinn collectors are going to want to get this for the game. Fortnite people are going to want to get these for the game. The comic book itself, everybody who buys one for the code, they're going to rip a sticker out from the comic to get the code, which will probably devalue the comic, if you ask me, it will. Um, these are going to be very collectible comics. They're going to be sought after. Many of them are going to be uh, damaged or... Uh, at least uh, used, if you will. You know what I mean? And you won't be able to get this skin any other way. It gets even better from that, though, okay? Uh, let's see here. Uh, All right, check this out. So each issue, uh, each one has a DLC, uh, blah, blah, blah. Now, collecting all six codes will allow players to unlock an exclusive Armored Batman Zero skin. So yes, you can be Batman in Fortnite, but the privilege requires a certain level of commitment. That's, that's not even joking. Here's the deal. Most comic books are ordered three months in advance. Um, Fortnite's been skipping that, and they've been given very small, small windows to comic book guys to order. Most comic book guys aren't big into Fortnite or don't know what's going on. A lot of them don't. Um, and so these books will be short ordered. We'll be lucky if they reprint them. If they do reprint them, there's not a guarantee that the reprints will have the code. Um, these are going to be some of the most collectible in-game items in Fortnite ever released. Not any to date, but just ever. Um, 
So potentially these comics are going to be worth a lot of money. They could be good for trading for other collectibles. They could be good for resale. And if nothing else, if you want armored Batman Zero in the game, you're going to have to get one copy of each issue. Uh, so let's talk about that a little bit here. Um, it's going to be free to read on the digital. And um, let's see. We're going to go in here. Um yeah, let's see here. Uh, let's, let's see. When DC first approached them about doing a Batman Fortnite series, I thought it'd be a lot of fun, said Gage in a press release. Uh, after speaking to Don Muster and discovering just how deeply uh, we'd be delving into the secrets behind the world of Fortnite, I was amazed. The series will reveal things about Fortnite that have never been seen or heard before, yet are very much part of the canon of the game. I'm also looking forward to, uh, to integrating other DC superheroes into the series, characters that Batman has existing relations with, Gage continued. It'll be exciting to share with fans how these relationships will be reshaped in the new world. Their art by Riley, Christian, Nelson, John is stunning, and my prediction is that this series will blow everybody's mind, whether you're a fan of DC, Batman, or Fortnite. Uh, so each issue uh, is priced at $4.99, it's five bucks each, uh, for the regular cover. Um, it's six bucks for the cardstock variant cover. So there's two versions of the cover for every issue. Um, they will debut Tuesday, April 20th, with the new sh issue shipping twice monthly, with the last one on July 6th. Um, so here's where I can add a little bit of information, okay? Uh, it looks like these need to be ordered by end of day, Wednesday, uh, March 3rd. So if you have a local comic book shop, let me go here. You want to go ahead and get in touch with them now and you want to get that order in um, ahead of time otherwise they will not have copies of this book for you and you won't be able to get armored zero batman or whatever um, call your local comic book shop believe me they will love getting orders in um, some of them like mile high comics you can see i've got them listed here if you don't have a local comic book shop Mile High Comics is going to be ordering these comics, and they're probably going to have a pretty good number. So if you can't find them elsewhere, call these guys, and they'll get you signed up. Now, Mile High, the way they do it, they've got a nice account. And what you have to do is you have to put cash down first. You put a chunk of cash down, and then whenever a book comes in on your order, it's deducted from your account, and they mail it to you if you're out of state, or you can pick it up if you're locally. Uh, for example, if this is going to be... Uh, let's see here six issues they're five bucks each call them up tell them you want to put 30 uh, 30 dollars plus whatever you need for your shipping on your account and just put the fee on there and then they'll have it they'll ship it to you as it comes in and you're going to be good good done um if you want to go ahead and get uh copies of the variant cover it's going to be 36 bucks plus shipping uh, you just pay them that amount you could probably even pay them like 30 dollars and then they'll let you know when it's around low and you got to put in another 15 or 20 to cover the last couple books. Uh, you, If you call Mile High Comics, you can order a couple copies of each cover if you want, you know. Um, I'm personally going to order multiples so that I have some for trade down the road. Uh, I'm also going to have some uh, that I'm going to use for my own code and I'm going to probably get some graded without taking the code out so it's pristine. Um, and so... I know Mile High Comics is ordering a lot, but again, you have to pre-order through their nice program if you want to give with them. Uh, if you call your local shop, there's a good chance that you can avoid any kind of shipping fees. Um, and so real quick here, I'm going to go in. So we talked about multiple covers. In addition to the cardstock and the regular cover, there's something listed in the order system. Uh, we haven't been able to see a preview for it or anything. I was looking at it with my friend who works at the local comic shop. Uh, but it looks like they're going to offer what's called a premium variant cover. And that's a 1 out of 25. So only 1 out of 25 books will have this cover. And for the shops to get these, they actually have to order 25 books. And then they'll get one that they can sell. Uh, usually they'll sell these for between, uh, usually 25 bucks. It's a 1 in 25 variant. It'll be $25. Might be as much as 40 or 50. Just depends on the shop. Uh, if you want those variants, they're going to be even more collectible. You really got to talk to your shop guys and see if your shop's even ordering enough. I can tell you right now from Mile High Comics, I already got the premium covers unlocked for me. So if they don't get enough pre-orders to get more than one premium cover, every premium cover is coming to this guy. Sorry, guys. So uh, check your local comic shops. They might be ordering a total of 20 copies and you might be able to talk them into ordering an extra five to get that premium cover for you. 
So it looks like two to three covers, two covers for every issue for sure, a variant and a standard. Um, so the variants of the card stock, the more expensive. Uh, let's look at the art. Okay, I actually think the art looks really cool. Uh, this is the art for the very first issue. That will be the, um, this is the cardstock variant, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, this looks much more like cardstock art to me. And you got uh, Raven, of course, and you got Drift in there, and you got Catwoman and Batman. And then this one is probably the standard cover. Uh, I'm guessing, I could be wrong, I could have those backwards, but I don't think so. Very cool, I like the art. You got Raptor, Batman, Bright Bomber, Harley Quinn, Catwoman, Cuddle Team Leader, Fish Stick. Some really popular characters. Um, we get to see a little bit interior art. This is a sneak preek, so we're checking this out. You got Gordon and Batman talking, and I'll point this out too. It's a different Batman than we've seen. It's the blue and gray Batman, so this is going to be a different skin than we those who already have Batman in game have picked up. I like the art. You see him taking off here. He's looking. He sees Harley in the distance. He's going to go confront her here, and he rolls up. She shoots at him. She swings. She hits him. She falls or she jumps, and it looks into some weird energy rift, right? He's taking a sample, scanning, what is it? Somebody kicks him, and then we see a repeat of that preview. With another preview of what the skin's gonna look like. And that's it for our preview images, guys. So I don't know about you, I'm really excited. I think these are gonna be super collectible. If you're still watching this, I really appreciate it. I hope this information helps you find some cool collectibles. Again, um, I hope this helps people get the the full armored Batman. I have a sneaking suspicion there are not going to be too many exclusive Batman skins running around. It's going to be cool. Now, to wrap the video up, because I just want to spend a little more time on this, um, we're going to take a quick look here at some of these covers, okay? And so, um, months ago, in October, Fantastic Four, issue number 24 came out. And this is the variant cover with the um, uh, mech team leader and Dr. Doom fighting on it. So as part of my video, if you haven't seen that, go watch it on Marvel Comics, uh, X Fortnite Comics. Uh, I'll, I'll put it at the end of the video in the tag here, but check that out for sure. Um, but why this comic is important, in addition to being a cool comic and part of the set of Marvel variants, which were the first appearance of Fortnite Comics, I'm going to argue, uh, while this Batman series has Batman and Fortnite as an actual comic, I'm going to argue it's not the first Fortnite comic. And I'm going to argue that it's not the first appearance of many of these characters. And the reason why is um, we had uh, Chapter 2, Season 3 or 4 for Fortnite was the Marvel crossover, and they did as a promotion a comic book, a digital comic book in game, and they released that. But what most people don't know, and they missed is they actually printed Nexus War as a backup comic in Fantastic Four number 24. So we're going to take a quick look here. And you can read this online in various places and people do read-throughs, but I'm going to just scroll through here and we're going to see that this is actually a fully printed comic. And you've got just your standard kind of uh, Thor and Galactus stuff going on with the Black Winter. Um, and this panels take place, I believe, in Thor number four, and then it cuts to the next one, but right in between you get the story. And you actually get this hideous Thor art, but you get uh, the first in-comic appearance of Bright Bomber, of Kit, who's a very popular character, and then, right here, Raven, Jonesy, who's one of the main characters for Fortnite, Lynx, who's super popular, and of course you got uh, Peely. So there's your very first in-continuity, in-comic printed versions of Fortnite characters. Um, I don't think we see any other Fortnite characters printed yet, except of course on the covers, but these are the only ones that are actually in game. You get this beautiful spread with all the Marvel characters, you know, mixing in with these guys. So I thought I'd scroll through it. In my other video, I talk about it, but I didn't actually show it. And I want people to understand, this is... This is a very good comic to collect. Now, those of us who actually play Fortnite know they just dropped the aliens, the alien skin, the Xenomorph in the shop, which is a very cool skin. Well, last month, Marvel ran a series of alien versus Marvel 
uh, variant covers and I picked those up I'll do a video about those next week here uh, I have one more that's coming and then I'll have I think there is over 20 of them so we'll take a look at all those covers but there's that one I wanted to share the Venom one and then the last thing I wanted to share with you guys um, here before we get going is uh, the announcement that Marvel next month as variants are going to be running a Predator series so similar to the Alien comics there's I think I saw eight or nine there's not as many Predator as there were Alien covers um, but you can see this one right here right off the bat Predator hunting Spider-Man is very cool and I think there's six or seven other preview images out there um, if, you, if you look around. But if you want Predator skins, uh, crossovers, there's one with Fantastic Four. Um, let's see, do they have any more? Let's see. Yep. There's Spider-Woman. And you got uh, Valkyries. And the Guardians of the Galaxy. I haven't seen that one yet and that one's cool miles morales spider-man because of course miles can cloak too he can go invisible so it's a invisible shootout right there so i did want to mention in addition to um the fortnite marvel comics the fortnite dc comics there's also some really cool um marvel uh comics right now with aliens and predator which are of course also tied up with fortnite um End of the day, though, the biggest thing that's going to make these things blow up is the simple fact that um, they do have they have DLC codes for in-game content. If anybody remembers the Minty Pickaxe from GameStop, trying to track down one of those codes, and if anybody remembers the aftermarket on that, um, trust me, these comics are going to be hot. Especially the fact that you have to get six of them to get Batman unlocked. Um, I don't know. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments. You guys, uh, I've been watching. Please let me know what you think. Do you think I'm right? Do you think these comics are going to be big? Uh, like and share the video. Help get the word out. If you uh, order from your comic book bookshop, tell them AK Bog sent you. If you share your Fortnite comics um, on a video or anything, tell them you heard them out about it from AK Bog. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who's been promoting Fortnite comics anywhere. And I'm trying to make them blow up because they are cool. Anyways, um, thank you guys for tuning in and watching my goofy video. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day. Oh, one more. I'm going to give a shout. If you guys like my channel and you haven't checked it out before, go watch Cool Stuff Collectibles. Uh, I, actually, it's a new channel I just stumbled across. And I really enjoy it. I think the... The host, Rob, knows his stuff, and uh, it's been a lot of fun watching him. So, it's a good comic channel. Check it out. That was supposed to slip. <laughs>